BPL 2017 Chris Kale was at his explosive best for Ringoper at the business end of the tournament. Copyright Getty The fifth season of the Bangladesh Premier League concluded on Tuesday, December 12th with Rungapur Riders crowned as the league's new champions after Chris Gale's whirlwind century denied Dhak Dynamite's a title defense. It was a topsy-turvy ride for the Riders, who never looked like title contenders until the end of the league phase when they put together a series of close victories. Star-studded Dynamites too, didn't resemble the all-conquering version of themselves but still made the final on sheer reputation alone. Camilla Victorians ended the group phase on the perfect note growing from strength to strength and looked like they were heading for another title before faltering at the end. Kulna Titans too, had all bases covered on paper before falling on the execution scale. Last year's runner Sipraj Shahi, Kings suffered along with the out-of-form duo of Mushfiqur Rahim and Mustafiz Rahman. Mustafa's ankle injury meant he couldn't play the first two phases of the tournament, a loss that the Kings paid heavily for. Newly inducted Silhut Sixers began well at home but lacked imagination to progress past the subsequent hurdles. Chittagong Vikings had a bottom of the table, finish coming given their apprehension to spend on talent. But the failure of their local players left them thoroughly despondent by the end. Crickbuzz spoke to each of the franchises, to gather their feedback of their team's performance in the fifth season. Rinwapur Riders Riders skipper Misha Feban Mortazar believed their hunger was bigger than any other team when it came to the crunch time and that, coupled with the blazing performance of the foreigners in the last leg, was key to their success. To be honest we did not think we could reach the final let alone be the champions when we began the tournament, Mortazar said. I believe we began to feel the hunger when we did win some close matches and it only grew bigger as we were progressing towards the end of the tournament. There is no need to say that Chris Kale played a big impact while Charles and McCullum also did their part in the crucial stage but we cannot forget how well Mitten Ali, Rui Bopara contributed in our batting and the likes of Nurs Mulapu in particular along with others when it came down to bowling, he said. Dhaak Dynamite's Dynamite's coach felt that his side failed to show killer instinct in the final while there were times when they could have performed better to give a better account of themselves. It's true that we missed the killer instinct in the final and though I am not blaming anyone we just did not came to closer to our potential in the final, he said. We were simply taken aback by the batting of Gale in the final and the missed opportunity cost us dearly. But at the same time there were instances when we lost a few matches in the league and perhaps self-doubt crept in through those losses, he added. Camilla Victorians Victorians coach Mohammed Salahuddin did not want to hold anyone responsible for the fiasco in the second qualifier that had seen them bowing out. He chose to term the exit as bad luck. I'm proud of the way we played and surely it was disappointing not to win the tournament, said Salahuddin. What can I say apart from bad luck? But we are happy that we had shown that with unified effort everything is possible, because our team was never a one-man army, he added. Kuna Titans Titans skipper Muhammad Allah was disappointed with his team for failing to make the cut despite performing consistently well in the group phase. He took heart in the performances of the local stars in his side. It is simply difficult to make any plan work when Gail is on song but I am happy the way we performed said Muhammad Allah. We don't possess big names but still manage to perform because it was all about collective work. For instance the way Reful Hakan Afif played was simply amazing, he added. Raj Shahi Kings Kings coach Sarovar Imran put the blame on Mushfiqur Rahim as his poor form left. Raj Shahi's otherwise low-profile batting lineup with too much to do. We had a lot of expectation from Mashfikur, given he was the most consistent performer of the tournament until this edition, said Sarova. It was really disappointing not to get such kind of a service and we did not perform as a unit and it made us pay the most. For example sometimes our batsmen clicked while at times our bowlers stole the show but it hardly happened that both clicked together, he said. Silhat Sixers Sixers skipper Nasir Hussain said he was yet to put a finger on why his side underperformed. He, however, conceded that more runs at the top could have solved some of their batting woes. It is true that we did not get the service of the openers that we had in the initial part but that cannot be termed as an excuse because it is game of 11 players and not just one or two individuals, 
said Nasir. Chittagong Vikings Vikings consultant Minha Jalabdeen felt that their local stars hardly managed to pass their expectation, and it was that reason they suffered so badly. Frankly speaking our local players were below ordinary, said Minha Jal. Now you cannot go far with local cricketers performing so poorly, and it was quite hurting to see some of them making the same kind of mistake one game after another, he said. Copyright Crick Buzz Tags Mushfiqur Rahim Chris Kaildhaq Dynamites Rangapur Riders 